Um, should we should we start off uh, playing um, Wipeout? Volleyball. Yeah, Joe. Joe, what does Wipeout sound like? I assume that's what happens when you have a Wipeout. No, it's a song. The it's song. a song. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, it would be like, oh, Wipeout. Don't wipe out. Whatever you do, don't wipe out. Something like that. When we say Joe doesn't listen to music, we mean that. We don't just mean I doesn't listen to popular yeah. music. He listens to no music. He doesn't even know a famous song like Wipeout sounds like. Mm, you I'm not, not really well it. versed in the 1960s, Ryan. <laughs> You're not well versed in the 2021s. Okay. <laughs> Joe, what day is it? It is uh, May 9th, maybe. Is there anything special about this This May 9th, 2021? Mm, it's uh, Mother's Day, yeah. There oh, okay. you go, Joe. Yeah. What did you, you, you get your mom? A uh, tablet. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very uh, well. Hold did on. You... What what garage sale did you find it at? <laughs> no. Did I you didn't... did you return her her own tablet that you had borrowed? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I took her tablet. I was reading manga on it, and I finally gave it back for Mother's Day. What what kind oh. of tablet did you get? No, it's uh just something from Walmart, like a hundred or something like that. Hundred yeah, bucks, Buckley. Yeah. It was between the three of us. <laughs> Hundred buck Buckley. Thirty three dollars and thirty three cent Buckley. That's a good gift. That's a good gift. I'll take thirty three dollars from anyone. I know you sure. would. You take it from yeah. me all the time in the form no, of food. No, no. <laughs> okay, Ryan. Ryan, why are we here today? It's our big summer competition. As you uh, recall, we had the hunt for Bad October, and we also had Festicools uh, Festival of Fun. Uh, I forget what it was called. The, the hunt for holiday horror. <laughs> the yeah. hunt for holiday horror. How can I forget? Yeah. But now we've returned for even bigger. Dare I say bolder? Dare I say more exciting? I dare. And that is the fight. Did I freeze? Am yeah. I gone? No, a little frozen? bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's all I right. mean, every image it freezes on is pleasant. So it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Very pleasant. It's like a Picasso. But this one is called The Fight for Summer Fright. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yes. Because, ladies and gentlemen, all six members, uh, well, other than me, of Malevolent Movies will be participating. Uh, Sean, how are you doing? Well, in general, uh, a little hot, uh, considering I moved my entire family to Florida in the middle of summer, uh, like an idiot, but... Uh, oh, it's nice to hear, Sean. Now I'm excited to watch some garbage with you fellas this summer, and... You get that thing looked at? You see, I had myself a case of the old Buckleyitis. Always a pleasure. It's a well-known scientific fact that uh, Buckley's can't survive in warm climates, so that's why I'm down here in the Sunshine State. And look at this, huh? Huh? <laughs> the clearing up. Little Buck is already fading away. Oh, you got that yeah. removed? Yeah, it's working. Is it getting better? Eh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough, you know. I mean, doctors say only sunshine and outdoor physical activity can uh, really get rid of a buck. So, uh, only time will tell. Cut to a tiny tumor on his neck of Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, you also, get right down to the root if you want to get the Buckley out of your life. Oh, yeah. You got to use fire. All six uh, of the guys are going to be participating <laughs> as teams. We're going to have three teams of two in the fight for summer fright. There's going to be three events for the fight for summer fright. So three teams, three events, nine movies. <laughs> We're, we're going to focus on the film, but I'm hoping in the future we can expand this uh, to an Olympic-style event um, because I would love to see Joe devour. A, a yeah, pe I, can, I can swallow a dog without using my hands or chewing. Ugh, I want to prove that to the fans, but that's okay. That's okay. You are talking about hot dogs, right? Yes, I am talking about Just hot dogs. I'm not sure. talking about a Pomeranian or a man's coconut. I'd like to make that clear. I was just worried for Ryan's sleepy dog on the couch. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was I'm gonna lock my door tonight, Joe. <laughs> yeah, no okay, kidding. okay. Well, you're lucky. You're four or five hours away from me. I I don't like to drive that distance. Well, folks, I'm if you excited. miss this quality humor, Joe's back again. Yeah. So I hope yeah, you enjoyed those great. four or five episodes. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, this, I think I think the people will be happy. I'll uh, I'll be pleasant. I'll be nice. I won't be so loud. No, oh, you haven't been too loud yet, but you did say yeah. Pomeranians and cock in the same sentence, so. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a yeah. different <laughs> It's fine. It, yeah. It's fine. What did you think of that joke, Sean? <sighs> you know, Tyler, to be honest, when, when Joe's talking, I kind of, 
I kind of space out, and with his mush mouth, I, I thought he actually said Tom Brady's cock, which, I mean, to real was even a little bit more surprising. Coming from Joe, I figured it was just like another like weird dark web porn wormhole that Joe had fallen down, you know, like some Super Bowl subreddit thing or something, which, uh, you know, for real though, that'd probably be the first time Joe showed any real interest in sports, you know, so Joe, do your thing, brother. I believe in you. Oh, thanks to hear it, Sean. <laughs> no, there's no <laughs> way he responds like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got three events, gang. <laughs> but first, we got to pick our teams. Teams of two, random. Let's <sighs> see who our first contestant is. Sorry, it's a little spinning wheel. You, I can oh. hear the sound, but you can't. It's slow. Rolling the dice of the damned. Trevor. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh my God, always. that is so loud in my headphones. <laughs> I'm going to mute this. Um, <laughs> but anyways, okay, so Trevor, let's see who yes. Trevor's teammate is. Oh, my God. Oh, please. my God. Please. It could be Joe. <laughs> it could be please. Joe. Please, please, Lord. Oh, my Lord. It is, is it Zach Joe? Shaw. Oh, hey. yes. The festival we got this boys in the bag. Are back. <laughs> That's right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this time the we're coming for boys. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This mm-hmm. time okay. we're coming for the crown. That's right. Work. Remove the YouTube. coconut crown. <laughs> okay, let's see who's next. Fuck yeah. Okay, this is a new team. And our first member of this team is Sean. Yeah! Do it! Nine movies, Sean. Nine movies. <laughs> yeah. Nine oh, And how many have you done so far with the show, Sean? <laughs> how, how many movies? If I, uh, uh, Look, that's not that's not important, okay? I got kids. That's right. Yes, that is right. <laughs> you know, that's like my excuse for everything. Though. That's right. Yes, that is right. <laughs> What's important, most important, with a bullet, capital one, is that I don't get Joe as a partner. That's right. Yes, that is right. <laughs> Let's make it happen. We don't typically see you and Joe on a team, so this will be exciting. <laughs> okay. Oh, this actually oh. determines both teams. And oh. is Ryan! Yes, Ryan! Sean and Ryan. We got, we got, the, back. We no! got the boys back together no! and Nick and Joe. <laughs> the cursed and team. Fuck. And Sean, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pick the move. The Bakers are back together. Yes. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Uh, that hair and stash combo you got right now, you're looking like a creepy camp counselor. I love it. Keep it rolling, baby. Keep it rolling. Yeah, so oh, sorry, that I hate means you. Nick and Joe together. <laughs> okay, I okay. hate you. Well, you uh, want your Cadbury eggs, don't you? Yes. Okay, oh, Lord, and eggs over him. That's right. Yes. From Easter. <laughs> yes, I, I want the eggs. Okay, okay Joe. Have Joe, have yet, Joe? Huh? It's been over a month. You haven't gotten those eggs yet. Um, I'd have to mail them or maybe like the well, hand he's been, deliver he's them. He's been sitting on them waiting for him to hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to make a Cadbury bunny. <laughs> yeah, with your butt hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh man! Imagine so, being born into that. <laughs> we, we've got our teams, uh, gentlemen. Have your phones at the ready because you're going to want to communicate with your teammates. Because for the first time in a Malevolent Movies competition, you guys get to pick. Welcome to June's Summer Slam. Oh boy! June's Summer Slam is tra- a traditional competition in some ways, uh, but the big deviation is you guys pick your summer setting. Where does your horror your summer horror movie take place is it a beach is it a camp is it a summer school a country club road trip resort suburbs the woods you guys pick it we have to agree on it so it can't be something super ambiguous like on earth you know it can't be anything (laughs) shitty like that it has to be some sort of cliche-esque summer style location okay Mm -hmm. summer rain Sure, Joe. Submarine, maybe. Yeah. Uh, submarine. Joe, what are you smoking, Joe? Sean's really loving this one. The only submarine you know is a foot-long, cold-cut combo with extra mayo. Ew! <laughs> that was me, I'll take it back. I apologize, Joe. I know you would never be caught dead in a subway because they have vegetables there. Ew! <laughs> but anyways, that's the first part. The second part is, oh, no. We have some faded memories. Each team loses two decades that they get to pick from. Now, uh, going through uh, the Malevolent Movies competitions, we look at the movies from the last 50 years. Um, So basically, 1970 to now, we'll accept. 
Um, so you, from 70 to 79, 80 to 89, 90 to 99, you lose two decades, okay, picked at random. Whew. And you guys could have the same decades, so they don't get removed from the list, okay? Oh, okay. Um, but there's another twist to the tale. In Tasty Tropes, everybody can pick a movie, well, you pick a movie, and any trope in there, we all basically have to agree on them, but they're not pre-selected. Any trope is worth two points. So if you've got a lead character who's got that summer job, if you've got somebody, it's their last summer and they need to lose that virginity, um, if they're telling campfire stories, if they're city slickers, you know, out of the city, whatever it is, two points for every trope, okay? And again, we all, we'll all sign off on this stuff and, and we can argue about it. Hopefully we do argue about it. It'll make for good podcasting. Always. But that is June Summer Slam, okay? So here's okay. how the points break down. So it's the, it's the classic um, top 75 points, 10 for script, 10 for acting, 10 for production design, 10 for post-production, 10 for competency, 10 for charm, 10 for rewatchability, and the malevolent to benevolent bonus, which is worth five points, but it could be as low as negative five points. Now that summer setting, the thing that you select, your movie must be about that, 20 points, okay? You gotta really land it in there, and it really needs to be a part of that movie. So if you say, oh, I wanna look for something at the country club, and guess what, oh my gosh, the only the ending takes place at the country club. I don't know. Maybe it's only worth seven, eight points. All right. Okay. Um, something new. Box art bonus. So the box uh -huh. art of your film or the poster um, is worth 10 points. So hopefully there's a lot of art Damn. that goes along with this to kind of spice up what we're, what you, your movie is. Okay. Another 10 points for the summer soundtrack. How spicy is the soundtrack? Are we playing some Beach Boys in there? What's going on? You know, are they playing Joe's Wipeout in there? Wipeout. Don't wipe out. Whatever you do, don't wipe out. Something like that. <laughs> so a we're all classic gonna... song. Yeah. Um, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to have uh, the 10 points for Summer Spirit. So does this really kind of encapsulate the Summer Spirit? Um, and then, as we've learned through trial and error, I may say, <clears throat> 25 points for the malevolent movie spirit. Does this fit in the world of our podcast? So a total of 150 points. Each each event is of 150 points. But yes, so all of this, uh, is, there's a lot of new stuff going on here, guys. So let's pick our summer setting. Gentlemen, please, amongst each other, start messaging each other to figure out what you think your summer setting should be. While that's going on, I am going to, to randomly select what decades you will be losing. So our first team here, uh, Zach and Trevor. Um... What am I to do right now? You you just you could pick your summer setting. Oh, you, you and Sean, okay. you and Sean are messaging each other right now, right? Ryan, you keep ignoring my messages. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean, can you and Joe sing that song uh, together? What, how's it go? Joe and I haven't really rehearsed. I haven't, I haven't warmed up. But uh, yeah, let's. Uh, Joe, okay. you. Uh, I'll start off. Yeah, and you do your part. Well, I don't do know his how you part. start when you're the harmonies, but go ahead, Joe. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Wipe out. Don't wipe out. Hey, they when you wipe out. Or you slip into dick. Pick that up your dick. Watch out. Or into dick. Not your dick. My dick. Don't go there. Wipe out. Oil slick. It's a wipe out. So, Zach and Trevor, you guys got lucky. Because guess which decade you're missing out on? The 2020s. Thank God. <laughs> so basically a year and a handful of months. You got really lucky. <laughs> okay, we're going to roll again, see what the, the what the other one is. Because remember, you wiped out pretty hard. You lost those. You lost that decade. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. 2010s to 2019. Oh. So basically yeah. the last 11, 12 years. All right. We can okay. work with that. Look. Okay. So Joe or, or Ryan and Sean, let's see what you guys are. Let's uh, cross your fingers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sean, let me see him. 2010, 2019 again. That's a decade we can't choose a film from. Can't choose a film from that decade. That's right. It's all right by me. Unfortunately, you, you got a broken heart and you didn't remember the whole decade. <laughs> oh, 1990 to 99. Oh. Seriously, we lost the 90s? That's like the only decade I know. I'm useless otherwise. All right, well, not, not, uh, not the worst decade to lose when it comes to this kind of movie, but uh, that kind of sucked. God damn it! This is fucking rigged, Tyler. Joe and That's Nick, right. 80 to 89. 
Oh, that, that's God a tough one. Mm. Come oh, on. Yeah. Shit. That's hard to come back from. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> and 70 to 79. Fuck! Oh, no. <laughs> I can't pick Lost that Summer was, now. <laughs> the, the, arguably the, the 20 best years. Yes. Uh, the peak long. of summertime movies. Taxi Driver. Okay. Godfather. Now, <laughs> have any of our teams selected their summer setting yet and oh, I, I'm, I apologize I have not said this the, if the, when the team picks a setting you can't have duplicate settings okay mm, so we want to get in yeah so you know what actually I'm going to roll I'm going to roll okay. for teams okay because I want to I want to make sure that you guys because um, I, I also want to see you guys fuck each other over mm. <laughs> did you get my text on did you get the did it go through did it go through I'm having <laughs> okay Okay, Joe and Nick. Uh, okay, what's what's your <laughs> what's your summer setting? I think uh, we got one. I think we're gonna we're gonna say say this. Uh, I'm gonna go beach okay. slash maybe maybe pool. Yeah, body of water. Is that? I'm is that? I have to object. I have okay. To object. okay. Let's hear only it. Because only because I think you got to do one or the other. Mm-hmm. You know. Because pool parties are a thing, and then there's the mm. beach. Yeah, the yeah. beach parties. So if you, had to parties. Pick, which, would you pre- if you had to pick, which would you prefer? You tell them, Buckley. I'd say beach. Yeah, we're going beach. We're going beach. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's it see goes, who's uh, next. Big volleyball's out. Ugh. Yeah. And it's pick Joe and Nick again. <laughs> <laughs> it just wants all the Joe and Nick. Oh yeah. Okay. In our own spinoff. Ooh. <laughs> Trevor oh, and Zach. Boy. All right, Zach. You want to call it? I like I, all of our options, and I trust you. I think I. I think we'll go summer camp. Summer camp. I think we'll go summer it, camp. Okay. It's got the most tropeability. Tropeability. The okay. tropeability factors off the charts. Oh yeah, really I didn't high. Think about we that. Those bonus contrasted points. it, and yeah. Okay, Ryan. A lot of scientific. Ryan stuff Sean. Right <laughs> yeah. Was there a list that the, you guys were looking at? So I going? yeah, these are just suggestions, but you can come up with okay. your own thing. So I said beach, camp, summer school, country club, road trip. So like you know the RV, getting in the RV, the vehicle, whatever. Uh, resorts, suburbs, woods. Maybe it's a overseas vacation and a, a London vacation. What about vacation hotspot? Tourist trap. I'm okay with that. I would accept that because I feel like I feel like your movie has to be about getting somewhere or there has to be a or wild world there. or something like that yeah, yeah. okay so you, i'll put i'll put tour do you want tourist trap is that what, how you want it to be known or what um, language i i prefer i don't know something like a vacation house but it's not a tourist trap so much because that's kind of a specific thing where very scary it's, vacation it's, no, okay it's a hokey thing that sucks you in i like the idea of it's a vacation destination Vacation, oh, Whether, you know, vacation destination. I think that's good. Vacation go. destination. Okay. Like on the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Joe, All right, Wheel boys. of Fortune is a game show where contestants have to guess a word puzzle similar to Hangman, but they also mm. spin a wheel that has prizes and money. Okay, they I thought you would like put and they, on that merry-go-round thing in the park, and then whoever gets the most in their mouth gets to keep them. Yeah. That's what I thought the Wheel of Fortune was. I'm sorry. And Joe, uh, balls is a form of deodorant for your testicles and gooch. So... <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I thought it was Ryan normally kept in his mouth while he was sleeping. Okay. So see, I was thinking again. It was just, yeah. Com- yeah, completely wrong. Joe, you just shut the fuck up. I agree with you, Sean. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Joe, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, know, gentlemen. It feels like charity. <laughs> don't forget. Don't forget. Think of the box art. Think of the poster. Think of the soundtrack. Think of the tropes. This is the Summer Slam. June Summer Slam. There's a lot going on there. Moving on to July's Slaughter Fest. July is all about the villain. Who is our bad guy? What is he doing? How many people are dying? We want the blood. We want the guts. We want the buck butt. As teams, you get to select who your villain is. Okay? So here's some suggestions. Um, And we have to agree. Slasher. An animal or creature. The undead or zombies. Just a human. Just some dude. Um... Paranormal ghost aliens, an organized group or cult, a force of nature. Okay? So be thinking on those things, okay? 
But here's what you don't get to pick and is randomly selected for you. The iconography of this individual. They may have to have a mask or a weapon of choice, a calling card, a unique outfit or costume, a specific musical sting or mu soundtrack, um, or uh, an atmospheric change. When they walk in the room, do the lights dim? Does fog come in? Do you hear um, a, a wolf howl? You know, I, who, what happens, okay? I, I, I do have a question. Art sound effects, like when Buckley walks in. <laughs> mm. Go ahead, John. Um, what if it's a combination that logically just doesn't make sense? Like it's an animal, a killer animal wearing a mask. Well, I think you're going to have to get Could creative. Be an animal mask. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think you are next. So, yeah, th th there's Ooh, some. There you oh, go. Or, Room um, for interpretation. Yes. Yeah. Open for, for interpretation. Um, so here's the point breakdown. Again, the top 75, you know, script, et cetera, blah, 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 malevolent to benevolent bonus. 10 points for that iconography. 10 points for the villain wickedness. We want some nasty boys up in here. Or girls. Um, or Buckley's. Um, uh, 10 for the gore. 10 points for the gore and gross out level. How filthy nasty does this guy get? 10 for the kill satisfaction. Okay. Are these kills satisfying or are they just get knifed in the gut and everybody's falling over? That's not very satisfying. Another 10 points for the summer spirit. Another 25 points for the malevolent movie spirit. For another total of 150 points. Is this still going within the realms of the decades we talked about or is that just nope, for June? Nope, that's, that's just that for June. Thing? This is all okay. open again. So we're still looking for the theme of summer horror, you know, but you can bend and break this a little bit because again, the summer spirit, that's 10 points. You know, you might want to sacrifice that a little bit. Does it fit in the malevolent movie spirit, you know? Mm, so, okay. okay, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to roll. Oh, do you guys all feel like you're ready? I don't want to push you. Uh, <clears throat> me and Nick are still discussing. Yeah, we're still deliberating. Sean, tell us that great joke you had loved to tell us that makes us all laugh every time. Which joke? Is it the uh, the one about the uh, the turtle getting the haircut? No. The a hamster with the hair lip? No. The, the podcast with no audience? Eh? No. The, oh, the tooth. The the the, uh, the gold tooth. Yeah, yeah, but that one. Yeah, yeah the really that long one. That's like three minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me break it down for you. As legend has it, over 20 years ago. A baby boy was born with a golden tooth. Yeah. And that tooth came with a very special power. The power to consume as many chicken nuggets as possible without growing. Yeah. And as Uncle Ben once told Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Unless you don't watch mainstream movies, then you never heard that. So, this baby, he ate and he ate thousands of chickens worth of nuggets, mountains worth of nuggets, McDonald's, Burger King, Tyson, you name the nugget, he ate them all. He even ate the weird ones, you know, with like the little gristle in there. And the more nuggets this baby ate, the smaller the nuggets got on the chickens. You know, size. It was evolution until the nuggets were only the size, little teeny weeny M&Ms. And people complained because, you know, nobody, nobody wants small nuggets. But that baby with the golden nugget tooth, he got selfish and he didn't care. He kept eating and eating and eating until he ate all the nuggets in the world. And the chickens realized they didn't need their nuggets anymore. And that's why chickens don't have natural nuggets, my friends. They're all now manufactured fake nuggets. And that baby with the golden tooth, if you're wondering, well, <laughs> he didn't have real nuggets to regulate him anymore. So he grew, and he grew, and he grew, and he grew, and he grew, until he became the one and only Joe Buckley. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> that, that was yeah, that was racial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but not in the way I thought it would be, you know? It makes you think. He subverted been, expectations. Yeah, he's been workshopping that for a while. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah. Trevor and Zach, you guys get to pick first this time. Hell yeah. All right. Um, well, I think it's unanimous. We're a couple of fools for some monsters. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be looking for a monster flick for July. Okay. So I'm going to put monster slash creature. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, uh, your iconography. Let's see what you guys get. Let's see. Here we go. It's going. It's going. And it is. Ooh. Yeah. Atmospheric change. Okay, that's a bit All of a tough right. one. <clears throat> well, I like it. We'll figure something out. Okay. 
And our next group is Ryan Sean. Okay, Ryan, what is your villain for the July Slaughter Fest? A psycho. A psycho? A psycho. Just a psychotic killer. Okay, I, I'm okay with that. What do you guys think? I'm good with that. Yeah, okay. psychotic, psycho killer with a parentheses S. Okay. Because sometimes, you know, there's yeah, more than yeah, one. Yeah, scream, right? Maybe yeah. there's a twist at the end and it's a family. <clears throat> I don't know, but psychotic killer. Okay, let's see what your uh, iconography is. Ooh. Unique outfit or costume. Ah, it's in the bag, right, John? Right? It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Like, let's say it, your killer uh, wears like um... a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Joe had that at the red. You've been thinking about Tykables lately, Absolutely Joe? Absolutely not. No, I will not be wearing the Tykables. That's all we he put in the chat. <laughs> he narrowly missed wearing a Tykable, so that's all he can think about now. He's obsessing over it. Uh -huh. Okay, Nick and Joe, what is your villain? Uh. I think, uh, Joe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think uh, both of our ideas were taken. So yeah. are we going to go with we go slasher? Uh, well, I think, is that different than what I would Ryan be okay did? With slasher. I would be okay with slasher because that's a specific guy. It's a, it's a killer that uses uh, sharp implements only. I, that works for me. What do you think, Nick? Let's do it. All right. I'm spinning for, <laughs> for your iconography. What is unique about this slasher? And it says, Joe has to wear a diaper. No! <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Is no, that that's... really unique, though, to a Buckley? <laughs> no. And Sean, you're modeling the diaper he's going to wear. Can you uh, stand up, show us what it looks like? <laughs> Guys, I think this got, this got a little bit tougher for you. They have a calling card. Okay. Oh, a slasher with a calling. Card. Yeah. So do they do they maybe do something specific to the bodies? Um, do they leave something behind? Yeah, um, do they lick the eyeballs? Something like that. Sure. Sure. Maybe they lick the eyeballs. This is where it's going to get interesting. We are opening up malevolent movies in a way that we have never done before. Welcome to August Malevolent Madness. Mm. Oh, man. In August, our three teams will be picking a movie bizarro style. We are looking oh, no. for the worst movie. We are not looking for the best worst style movie, the malevolent movies spirit style movie. We want movies that are so bad that they fucking hurt to watch. I want you guys to put each other through hell. And the twist, the genre is open. We are rolling for genres on this one. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit, we're rolling for oh, it. Yes. I was like, you need completely open. I always wanted oh, to do some, uh, South oh, Korean man. revenge. Okay. So this is not just horror anymore. Okay. Um, so here's how the score breakdown is going to work. And here's the genres. These are the basic bare bones genres because I want it to be as flexible as possible. Action, adventure, comedy, drama, fantasy, horror, romance, sci-fi, thriller. Okay. I'm not going to make you do a Western or something like that. All right, here we go. Four, Damn. Trevor and Zach first. Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Okay. The worst sci-fi movie. All right. Lucky. Ryan and Sean. Ryan and Sean, let's see what you guys get. I feel like somebody's going to get horror. <laughs> I don't want horror. I want some action. Hope we don't get action. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, come. That's oh. action. Yeah, I like me some 80s action. Give me some satisfaction. Give some action right now, if you know what I mean. Huh? Huh? Ryan, you got me? And we got the 80s shot. Come on. Come on. You know. You know. You know. You know. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> oh, no, Nick and Joe. Fantasy. Mm. Fantasy. <laughs> maybe, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe like an epic movie kind of thing. Or mm. who knows? These have to be movies that were legit movies. Yes. In other words, they're not something that people shot, you know, goofing around and threw up, threw up on YouTube. Well, you see, I don't These know. Yeah, YouTube, movies. Movies, YouTube movies are movies. Yeah. You know see, what I mean, though, Joe. You know what I mean. You but then, what can't be a skit. That's the, where that's the only place you can ever. That, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know, guys. I mean, YouTube is the ultimate form of self-distribution. But, but it is malevolent madness. And if yeah. it drives Ryan mad, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> 
So let, I'd I mean, say yeah. I'd say night. How about this? Minimum length, and we'll say 1970s to now, and it has to be at least 80 minutes. 60 minutes oh, 80? or 75 minutes. 70, 70 is like a good length. 70. Okay, yeah. I think 70 is appropriate. At least 70 minutes. Okay. At least 70. Here, here's Just some bad. interesting things though. Here's the, how the scoring works. So we've got our top 75: script, acting, production design, post production, competency, charm, rewatchability. Flip it though. We want the least charming thing. The least rewatchable thing, the least competent thing, it has got to hurt. Okay, ten points for the genre. Did you fit your genre? Ten for false advertising. Did somebody try to sell you something that isn't quite what it is? So, did the Justin Prices of the world make a really nice poster, but they sold you a turd? <laughs> Things like that. What did they say about their own movie online? What does the IMDb description look like? All those things factor into this. So you basically are putting together a little package because we're looking for 10 points based on rage reviews. I want you to pick five reviews that sum up your movie, but in a really funny way. We want some really funny reviews on these really bad movies. So somebody who just put hashtag dumper trash or diarrhea dump <laughs> or something, you know, so, something that was funny and interesting, okay? so. 10 points for false advertising, 10 points for rage, rev rage reviews. But hey, for the for the Ryans of the world who are worried about the YouTube movies, you're going to get 10 points for cult cameos. Who's in this movie? Uh, it, did somebody pop in that you weren't expecting? Um, who Who's our guy? Um, Mark Borchardt. Mark Borchardt. Yeah, um, um, Eric Roberts. You know, who's popping <laughs> in and out of these George things? George Stoller. <laughs> exactly. Um... And then there's the 10 points for Summer Spirit and 25 points for the anti-malevolent movie Spirit. So this has to go against everything, you you know, we feel, you know, about the podcast, okay? This is a tough, this is tough. This one's going to be <laughs> tough, I feel. Yes. Because it's, I, I, everything that keeps, my brain is being flooded with like titles right now, but I'm thinking the reason my brain is flooding with those titles is because I still enjoyed them. I think there's enjoy, and they're terrible, but it's got to be something that everybody hates and it just sucks. Now remember, it's everybody's, easy. It's everybody's tastes are different. Everybody's yeah. tastes are different. Oh, I, I think um, we won't be rating our own films. How about that? Yes. Edward. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. everyone will get five reviews then, because for the four other uh, people and then myself. Because we don't want it. We want to prevent what happened with you know the Hunt for Bad October. Yeah. Mm. And oh, it kind man. of the small bit that bled into the Hunt for Holiday Horror and. Yeah, you know. Zach, yeah. I like this one you sent me. <laughs> Looking good, right? Oh, I was man. watching the trailer Woo. for a minute. Mm -hmm. The hunt begins already. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hey, yeah. Look at these, look at these guys. Running yeah. wild. I've got Run a couple that I want to talk to Zach about that seem real nice. So, how's everybody feeling? I was gauged the room. How's everybody feeling? Are you excited? Hey, Are you yeah. pumped? Yeah. Nick, how do you up. feel yeah. in particular? Um, I mean, I think. <laughs> just as a look around the stone. You know, it's like, uh, I feel like I'm drowning. Yeah. <laughs> I, but, uh, oh, man. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. to, uh, uh, face those challenges, that big, uh, 280 pound challenge. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, excuse me. I am not 280. I am 275 for oh, everyone's okay. information. I think you're really 275. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost weight. You carry it well. You carry it well. Thank I you. Thank I wouldn't have guessed 275. I'd have guessed okay. 250. 260. Oh, okay. So see, that's, well, not <laughs> that's not the bad. The camera yeah. is slimming. Hey, Sean, what, you wanted to say what about what charity? You wanted to uh, promote what charity? I would just like to take a, a moment uh, to mention that, you know, moving your entire family a thousand miles just to get away from Joe Buckley it, uh, can be a pretty expensive undertaking it turns out that's great i got my family away from the buck now i don't even have a buck charitable foundation is currently live every hungry buck will get a cup full of slush and 20 nuggets to go around taking donations uh it is a subsidiary of what you probably heard of the slush for buck charity which provides chicken nuggets to bucks in need and a portion of those donations will be used for chicken nuggets to feed my kids uh so just please you know be generous if you can fellas all right Thank you. Throwing nuggets in that too? It's a slush. I, uh, it's, uh, they are hungry. It's a literal hungry slush fun. Fun. <laughs> It's not the right. slush and nugget fun. Mm. Guys, I'm excited. Joe, you just I... give you an inch, you take a mile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Been a you while you give him a slush, he takes a 10 piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'll take some tenders. What's wrong with that? I'll take them to go. Mm -hmm. Folks, it's the fight for Summer Fright. Three events, three teams, nine movies. Holy shit, this is going to be crazy. Yeah, uh, I hope things go well. I hope we don't end, end some friendships. I mean, oh my gosh, who knows what could happen this summer. Uh, <laughs> but I look forward to the Hawaiian shirts that will inevitably be appearing and Ryan's hair continue and mustache continuing to grow out. Um, I like the stash, I... <laughs> Cultivated but, it. I cultivated it just for this. Uh, Joe and Ryan, or Nick, or uh, everybody, why don't we just all Mike. sing? <laughs> let, let, let's all sing that famous Fight for Summer Fright song. Joe, lead us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wipe out. It's a different song, but... Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, it's the Fight for Summer Fright. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's the fight for summer fright. Take it, Joe. Oh, it's not so scared. Oh, oh, he's so scared. It's not so scared. Oh, it's not so scared. Oh, it's not so scared. Oh, it's not so Okay, Sean, what do you have to say? 